All right, so you guys might remember Will Marr. He's an Instagrammer, a YouTuber, a TikToker, and a convicted sex offender. Before he got arrested, he developed a reputation for meeting up with girls as young as 12 years old, even bragging about having sex with two 15-year-olds. He actually has a list of women he's had sex with along with their ages, and you can see he's had sex with 15-year-olds and 14-year-olds. And just on a side note, if you ask somebody their body count and they give you an exact number, that's kind of a red flag. That means they're keeping track of it, like they have a list on their phone. And if you have a list like this on your phone, leave a comment, tell us why. Similar to Davi Vanity, he has made videos denying his sexual allegations. And just like Davi, he has a fixation on his childhood, getting tattoos of Spongebob and singing Never Say Never by Justin Bieber. Marr had served prison time for assaulting a 14-year-old girl, but before getting convicted, he was dating a 16-year-old at the age of 21. And personally, I believe once you're a predator, you're always a predator. I posted a video on my Patreon about a grown woman getting impregnated by a 13-year-old and Lil Mar commented, So? There was a Reddit post about Lil Mar looking for kids at a pizza place. Mar had commented, I don't like cheese on my pizza. And for those who don't know, cheese pizza is code word for CP, which means child pornography. The fact that he randomly referenced that is creepy. He probably has some CP on his hard drive. And Mar has said that Lil Tay is hot when she's only 14 years old. He bought a Corvette, he decorated it with a space theme. Somebody hit him up pretending to be a 17 year old girl and he actually showed up only to see that it was a setup. Come out more and talk about why you were gonna. You're trying to meet a 17 year old girl. You're trying to meet a 17 year old girl. You're trying to meet a 17 year old girl at a park, Mar. That's kind of weird, Mar. That's kind of weird, Mar. What were you doing at the park trying to meet a 17 year old, Mar? You'd think if you were a convicted sex offender, you'd try your hardest not to look like one. Mar doesn't care about his reputation. It's like he wants people to know that he's into kids. He leans into it instead of running away from it. So Will Mar made an announcement yesterday that he's going to take a trip to Canada. He got a passport with the intention of crossing the border from Washington. The age of consent in Canada is 16, and it's possible that he's been chatting with someone and is trying to meet up with them in Vancouver. Somebody left a comment saying, dating minors is illegal in Canada too, and Lil Mar responded with, damn. And by the way, Canada is a hard country to get into. They have actual immigration laws. You can't enter Canada if you have a DUI, if you have any type of criminal history, jail time. They're not going to let you in. In America, we let everybody in, except for Native Americans, of course. Now, Lil Mar is currently located in Olympia, Washington, which is about four hours away from Vancouver three and a half hours away from the border. Lil Mar is a truck driver, so he has no issue making this type of drive. When you cross into the Canadian border, there is a checkpoint. In Canada, they ask you why you're visiting. If you say something suspicious, then you'll get taken into immigration. They'll do background checks on you and they'll look up your name, try to find your social media. It is what it is. If you have a tricked out car and face tattoos, they might assume you're a drug dealer. You might be thinking that it's wrong to discriminate like that, but that's just how it is. People in authority see face tattoos and assume that you're good for something. The Canadian border people see Lil Mar saying that he's meeting up with a girl. The Canadians look up his information, see that he has a creepy reputation, and he gets handcuffed. They told Mar that he is never allowed into Canada. He is banned from the country. And Lil Mar made the connection that it's easy to come to the US. Why is it harder to enter Canada? We Americans have such a hard time understanding that other countries have different rules. It's not the same everywhere. And recently he made a post saying that this whole thing is a lie. He didn't actually go to Canada. It was just one big prank. 
That's why he got his passport a few days ago. You don't get your passport unless you're trying to travel. It's like $400 to get one, and you have to wait a couple weeks for it to arrive. Mar definitely had plans to leave the country. The most obvious first choice is the one that's three hours away. He even booked a hotel in Vancouver and rented a car, spending hundreds of dollars for a so-called prank. And I don't believe this was a prank. It looks like he tried to enter Canada. Nine hours ago, he said he was at the Canadian border. Then five hours ago, he said that the whole thing was a lie and he took a picture of himself in Olympia. Like I said earlier, Olympia to Canada is a three and a half hour drive, so it looks like he made this post as soon as he touched down to make it look like he never went there in the first place. And the reason why he didn't film himself coming close to the border is because he knows that trolls will call the border agents. One time he was at a hotel and he told people where he stayed at. Somebody called and said he was harboring children, then the police came. Since then, he's been pretty careful about revealing his location. He still has meetups though, but all in all, Lil Mar is a sick pedophile who is actively trying to bang children. Hopefully he gets caught before he does anything serious again. I'm out.